Okay, everybody, face me, attention, and bow. Okay, we're gonna do a quick warm up, and a warm up today is uh, gonna incorporate a lot of drills that we're gonna be using later on in the class. So make sure you guys follow along with this, this whole warm up. It's gonna be real quick though, okay? 20 jumping jacks, let's count together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, let's do ten squats. These are really good to get those all those leg muscles fired up, ready to go. Ten squats, ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's get the upper body warmed up. We're just gonna swing the arms side to side. Okay, like you give yourself a big hug. Very good. Okay, guys, now go ahead and swing one arm forwards. Just a few rotations and then swing that arm backwards. Very good, guys. Okay, now let's go the other arm forwards. And backwards. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, bring our knee up and back. Just 10 times. Up and back. Up and back. That's four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Now switch feet, other leg. One. Notice how I'm doing with my back leg. I'm bringing that leg up and back. Three, up and back. Four, up and back. Five, up and back. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now switch feet again. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bring that knee up. But this time we're going to jump up, okay? So I'm going to bring that back knee up, jump up, and see how I land in front. Then I simply scoot back. And then with the other leg, I'm going to swing that leg up, jump, land in front, and scoot back. So I'm alternating legs. Okay, again, swing that leg up in front and back up. So hopefully you guys got this down. You can follow along. If not, I'm going to give you a side view, show you how to do it again. Swing the leg up and scoot back, alternate legs, okay? Up and back, scoot back, again up. Okay, we're gonna do a couple more here, guys. Make sure you're following along. Notice how, what I do is I swing that leg up and I have to time it. So as I swing that leg up, I'm pushing off that bottom leg. This is gonna help us with a lot of our jump kicks, okay? A few more. Back and up and scoot back and back. One more. Okay, last one. Last one. Nice. Okay, guys. Um, now we're going to do a double knee. Okay, so you're going to swing that back leg up and then jump and bring the other knee up and slide back. So this one, we don't switch our feet up. Okay, so again, we're going to go knee, knee, land in front, and scoot back. Okay, again, knee, knee, land in front, and scoot back. Let me show you a side angle. But at this point, you guys should be following along, doing it with me. Again, knee, knee, and back. Knee, knee, and back. Okay, notice this. Knee, jump, knee. Before I put my foot down, okay? It's not knee down, knee down. Okay, we're jumping. One, two. Okay, let's switch legs, other leg in front. Okay, so I'm gonna be facing the camera again here for you guys. Follow along. Ready, knee, knee, and back. Again, knee, knee, and back. And knee, knee, and back. Good. Again, knee, knee. And back, a couple more, knee, knee, and back. Looking good, guys, keep it going. And back, and knee, knee, and back. Let's do three more. Two more. And last one, one more, guys, one more, last one. 
Okay, good job. Um, what I want you to do is you're going to do 10 stretch kicks on each leg. Um, these drills that we've been using, we're going to be using them later on in class during your kicks. So it's all going to make sense. Okay, hit pause. 10 stretch kicks on each leg. Come back and we'll get started. Hey everyone, we're going to be working on your tornado kick today. Now, uh, for some of you guys, you're just learning this kick. For some of you, you've been doing it for years. Hopefully I can give everyone something to work on, even if you're a little bit more advanced or a lot more advanced. I'm going to give you some drills to make that kick even better. And if you're just learning, I'm going to break it down so you guys can learn. So, the first thing you want to do is find out which leg our strongest leg is. And you're going to put that leg in front. So I'm going to kick with my right leg. My right leg is in front. Now, if you did the warm-up today, um, we had you do a drill where it was knee-knee. We went jump-jump. That's the same motion we're going to be using on our tornado kick, except we're going to turn, okay? Um, so, i got that strong leg in front, your dominant leg. I'm going to turn, and notice how much I turn. I turn until I can see you guys again. If I'm turning only halfway, it's going to be tough to kick forward. So, you have to make sure you turn. If you're looking at the screen right now, turn until you can see the screen again. Now, I'm going to take my uh, left leg, so not my strong leg, bring that knee up, and then with my right leg, bring the knee up. See how I went knee, knee? Let's try just that motion, okay? And for my more advanced folks that know this kick, what you want to be working on now is more of your height, okay? So when you do that knee, knee, work on jumping up as much as possible, not forwards, okay? Because we want to get some height. And you know, if you have good flexibility and good jumping ability, you can easily throw this kick to somebody's head. Okay, so again, tornado kick. We're gonna put that strong leg in front. We're gonna turn. Look how much I'm turning. I wanna bring that knee up in front, and then the other knee jumps up, okay? A lot of people will throw this kick in too much of a circular motion, okay? They'll swing the leg out here. You can see, you know, I, ba I could barely you know, reach you guys. You want to be going through your target, okay? If the camera is my target, I don't want my kick to end right as I get to it. I want to sweep and swing that leg through my target, okay? Let's practice this a few more times. We're just calling this a turn jump drill, okay? So what I do is I put that strong leg in front, I'm going to turn, and I'm going to bring that left leg up. So not the, not the kicking leg, not the strong leg. Okay, this is basically my back leg and go knee, knee. Just like you're doing front kicks, okay? So do the knee, knee in front, not circling with it, okay? Let me show you a side view here, because I'm gonna be aiming this way. So I put my right leg in front, I'm gonna turn, knee, knee, okay? And we wanna eventually make this, you know, into a smooth motion, okay? So again, I'm gonna go turn, knee, knee. And I always have a target right in front of me. I'm aiming here. Okay, so right as I do this, you can watch as I spin, as I turned enough and I've locked onto my target, my head doesn't move anymore. Okay, it's not this, okay? You know, that means you're not gonna have good accuracy and you're gonna get dizzy. I just got a little dizzy from doing that one kick. But if I get my eyes locked onto my target, okay, my target is my camera right now. As soon as I turn, you know, my eyes stay locked onto that target, okay? You're going to practice that now for a few minutes. We're not even doing the kick yet. Okay, we're just practicing the turn, knee, knee. I want you guys to practice that um, for about the next three minutes. Okay, so not very long. Practice both sides, maybe like 90 seconds on each side. Um, so hit pause, practice, come back when you're done. Okay guys, now that you're done with that, let's do the actual tornado kick, okay? So again, put that strong leg in front, okay? Now we want to think about that same motion. We're going to turn, bring the knee up. Now remember, this is not the leg we're kicking with, okay? The leg we're kicking with is on the ground, and then you're going to jump and throw an inside pressing kick. And look how I still have my eyes forward. I didn't let my head turn. My eyes are still on my target, okay? So let's do that again. Okay, we're going to break this kick down again. We're going to turn look. Okay, and remember my advanced belts, we're really working on height today with this kick. Okay, um, knee comes up, balance, jump, crescent kick. Now, you notice how I'm doing these kicks very slow. 
Um, this is another challenging way to do the kick. So my advanced belts, practice them slow in the beginning. Okay, this will definitely make your, your kicks better. Okay, doing it with too much speed means we rely too much on momentum. Okay, momentum can be a good thing, but it also kind of hides some of your, your uh, problems on your kick. By doing it slow, we're gonna, we're gonna find out all these problems and we're gonna fix them, okay? Turn, we wanna bring that knee up, jump inside press and kick. Look how I'm landing in front, okay? So we're still going slow right now. So let me give you guys a side view here, okay? And I'm gonna turn. Knee up. Now, I want to keep this knee up. Don't let that knee drop. Keep this knee up as you go into the kick. Okay, that's a common problem that people do is they'll turn, they'll bring the leg up, and then they drop it. And then they start to drop it too soon before they've started the kick. Okay, and that will limit how high your kick is going to go. So work on really keeping that knee up, jumping, and as you jump, you're switching feet, okay? Um, and that's what that drill was at the beginning of class. One, two. We get that knee up as high as possible and then we switch to the other leg, okay? So you're gonna practice that in just two minutes, okay? Two minutes slow. So one minute on each leg, okay? And then come back to the final version. Okay, everyone, now let's put it together. Okay, that tornado kick. Um, choose your strong leg, put it in front. Okay, so now we're gonna put everything together um, with speed, as much speed as you can handle. Okay, so when I say as much speed as you, as you can handle, that means some people might be really fast, some people might be, you know, a little slower. Depends where you're at, you know, on your, your understanding of this kick, okay? So what the kick is gonna look like, we're gonna turn, look, knee, kick. Okay, and see how I kick my eyes forward? Even as my body rotated over here, I kept my focus forwards, okay? Um, and you notice how I rotated a little past the camera? That's what you want to do, okay? The, the, one of the common problems is people under-rotate, and I'll show you an under-rotated kick, where the kick kind of dies right here. If I was aiming for you, you know, that kick would have came down and I probably would have hit you right in your foot. That's not going to do very much. I want to go through my target, okay? Through you, end up over here. So go past your target, okay? Let's do another one. Turn. Look how I go through, but I keep my eyes, I fight to keep my eyes forward, and I reset, okay? Uh, let me do one this way, okay? And when you turn, um, try not to let the feet slide and switch. A lot of people will let that back leg come forward. Okay, when I turn, I'm turning in place, okay? And throwing that tornado kick. Okay, guys, so you're gonna practice. Um, we're gonna do three more minutes, okay? That's 90 seconds on each leg. Or if you wanna do all three minutes on one leg, that's fine too. Um, practice those tornado kicks. Remember, my advanced belts, we're really working on height today. If you're just learning the kick, focus more on your technique. Okay, guys, hit pause, three minutes, get going. Okay, we're gonna be reviewing your self-defenses, okay? So I said reviewing. We're not gonna be going in depth on most of these. We're just gonna go real quick, make sure you guys are remembering all those. Um, if you need help learning your highest self-defense, this is probably not gonna be the video for you. I recommend going to the YouTube channel and there is a uh, curriculum video for every single belt level. Go to your, your belt levels video and we have a much more thorough breakdown of each self-defense. Okay, let's get going. Self-defense number one, that is against the choke hold, okay? Grab, step back, push away, front kick, elbow smash. Okay, you can do that one time on your own, okay? Ready? Self-defense number one, choke hold. Go. Okay, you should be done. Self-defense number two is against the double lapel grab. Clap to the ear, step back, chop. Ridge chain, uppercut, front kick, shift. Yeah. Okay, guys, just like before, you're gonna do it once on your own. Okay, ready, go. Okay, you should be done. Let's do self defense number three. What is that against? Okay, that's against the headlocks. Remember, the first time you're doing it with me, second time you do it on your own. Number three, against the headlocks. Start with the hands and the knees. Step back, double hammer fist, grab, shift, palm strike. Yeah. 
Okay, guys, one time on your own. Number three. Okay, that shouldn't take too long. Let's do self defense number four. What is that against? That is against the rear strangle, okay? So we want to grab, step out, elbow, hammer fist, eye poke, grab, flip, punch. Okay, guys, your turn now. One time on your own. Go. Okay, you should be done. Let's do self defense number five. That is against the rear shoulder grab, okay? And the most common problem with this one is people take too large of a step, okay? You only want to take a small step. If you take too big of a step, you're not going to be able to hit the person, okay? Take like a half a step forwards, half step forwards, then side kick, tiger claw, tiger claw, okay? Now let's see you do it one time on your own. self defense number five, rear shoulder grab. Go. Okay, guys, very good. Let's do self defense number six against the forward attack. Okay, so somebody's pushing us. They push us once, that's all they get. Second time, you gotta react. So after the second push, we step out, parry block, roundhouse with the front leg, hammer fist, palm stretch. Okay, very good. Now you're doing that once on your own. Go. Okay, guys, very good. Let's do number seven, that is against the choke from the floor. Okay, let's just go over this real quick standing up. We grab on top and strike underneath the arm. So on top of both the arms, underneath with that strike, okay? So if we're doing number seven, choke from the floor, lay down, guys, grab, strike. We want to grab that head. I like to add that little push with the leg. That just helps to get them off. Push and punch. Okay, guys, your turn. Number seven, choke from the floor one time on your own. Okay, you should be done. Let's do number eight, sit and trap, okay? So the person has us pinned down. We're gonna try to get up, it pushes it down. We try again. Now this time, we gotta tuck those legs in. Push, roll, and punch. Okay, guys, let's do number eight again. Sit and trap, go. Okay, very good. Let's do number nine, bear hug. Okay, so that person has our arms trapped. We don't have uh, our arms available, we can't kick them. So we're gonna smash them with our head. Hook step, grab to the groin, elbow, shift and punch. Okay, very good. Next time you're doing it on your own, number nine, bear hug. Go. Okay, guys, very good. Let's go to number 10, hook punch. Okay, number 10, we start off guarding hammer fist. Okay, follow along, back fist. Shift, palm strike, and then step back, knife, and middle block. Notice how I have been a back stance, both legs bent. Okay, let's see you do number 10 real quick against the hook punch. Okay, guys, very good. Let's go to number 11, overhead attacks. That means someone's trying to hit us on top of the head. We step out, guard, chop, circle, arm break, step out, elbow. Ridge hand, take them all the way to the ground, and punch. Okay, your turn, guys. Number 11, overhead attack. Go. Okay, guys, very good. Let's go to the last one, number 12, up against the wall. So we're gonna grab, strike knee, turn, push against the wall, knee, stop. And we're gonna slam their head three times. One, two, three, circle step. Spin back, kick, shot, end up, knife, hand, middle block. Okay, your turn, guys. Show me number 12 against the wall. Okay, guys, very good. Now, like I said, if you don't know your highest self-defense and you want to learn it today, go to the, the YouTube channel, look up your highest curriculum video. Otherwise, this was just a review for you guys. Okay, let's move on to the next section. Okay, guys, your scrimmage drill number five. So this one is against a, uh, a number three strike, okay, coming either to the, you know, the legs or possibly like the stomach, so it's more of an upward angle or uh, coming across, okay? So as that strike comes in, I'm gonna do a, uh, a lower block here. Notice how I turn the hand like this. It's a little tough to block down low, because see what that does is it forces my head down, and you know, that makes it easy for him to hit me in the head, okay? I wanna keep my head up so I block low, by turning weapon upside down. 
And when you do this, um, you know, you want to think about circling with the block. And that gives you a wider uh, blocking area. If I just simply go like this, okay, I, if, if that attack is coming right at me, I might miss that attack. But if I circle, I have this wide area that I'm able to block. So think about circling and blocking when you do that. Okay, so that attack comes in. I'm going to circle block now. If you see my left hand, now it's going to shoot through here and grab his hands. Okay, so kind of like if you remember number one and two, how we block and grab. We're doing the exact same thing here. Let's try that again. That strike comes in. Block the low grab. Now from here, I'm going to, I have the butt end of the Eskrima, and it's pointing right at his head. So I'm just going to follow that. I'm going to hit to the side of his head. Okay, just from here. Watch how I, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to pull him a little bit, and I'm going to step in as I do that. Okay, let's try that again. So that strike comes in. I circle, block, grab, close this, hit with the butt end, just like this. Now I'm going to circle around, hit to his knee. As I hit to the knee, I'm going to pull him back a little bit. And that exposes those ribs a little more. So watch again, from right here, I did the strike with the butt end of the Eskrima. Hit to the knee, pull back just a little bit. And now I'm going to finish him off with that rib strike. Right to the ribs with that butt end of the Eskrima. The whole time I'm holding on to my opponent. I don't let go of it. Okay, let's try it again. Ready, grab, hit, knee, ribs. Okay, let's do it from the other end. This one will go nice and slow for you guys. Block grab. Okay, this is the key. If you don't get this, nothing else matters. Okay, hit with the butt end. Strike, pull away slightly, exposing those ribs. Hit with the butt end over here. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Okay, let me show you guys this uh, now facing uh, forwards. I'm going to circle block, circle block, grab. Look how I'm grabbing underneath the arm, not on top. Okay. I grab the hand, hit with the butt end, circle, hit to the ribs. Okay, again, from back angle, walk, grab, hit with the butt end, hit to the knee, hit to the ribs. Okay, guys, that's drill number five. Okay, guys, let's go over drill number six. Okay, drill number six is again, that uh, you know number three strike. Um, so as that attack comes in, I'm gonna block low. Remember, I'm circling that block. I want to come in, grab the hand. Now from here, I'm gonna take my left hand. We're doing that snake move again. That hand snakes around, and we want to basically get to that knife hand block position, that knife hand middle position. Let's try that again. Okay. So again, it's block grab. Now, as I'm doing that snake with the left hand, I'm also striking to the collar or to the, to the shoulder up here. So I'm doing two things at once. I'm snaking with the left, and that right hand, that lead hand, is striking to the shoulder like that. Okay, so again, grab, strike, and if I finish by getting that knife hand, I can. I can finish here with just one hand, but I'm going to add that strike on top also. And I like to aim right for the wrist, okay? Let's do that again. Walk, grab, strike. Watch how I'm doing both things at once. I'm snaking and striking, and then finishing with a strike to the wrist. Let's go for a different angle. Okay, one more time. We'll go slower this time for you guys. Block grab. Snake strike. Pivot strike to the wrist. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let me show you guys uh, facing forwards here. So again, I'm going to block grab. Okay, this left hand is going to snake as I strike. Pivot strike. Let's do that again. Block grab. Snake strike. Pivot strike. Okay, from the back, block, grab, snake, strike, pivot, strike. Okay, guys, good work.